Alright guys, then the man here again and I'm back with another video as I told you guys that I would be showing you how to clean the fan on your HP uh, notebook that is 15.6 inches and all that stuff. In the previous few video we demonstrated how to basically change the hard drive or the SSD or a 2 terabyte hard drive or all those all those goody stuff and as well as opening the entire thing showing you where the hidden screws are and the other thing that we talked about was upgrading the ram right there um which i made it up to um eight gigs you can upgrade it up to 16 gigs if you would like to but that would be pretty costly and this laptop would not be worth it as much right there is the battery for the laptop when it's actually turned off so it would keep up all your um basic settings like date and time and all that stuff and the other thing I wanted to demonstrate was the, basically the fan. So let's just get started with it. In order to change or clean the fan, you got, there is like three screws to uh, undo them. One is here, one a tiny teeny screw right there, and another one there. The tiny screw basically uh, holds this, got, um, uh, helps to hold this shield, this protector shield, to protect the fan. So you just unscrew this very easy. Keep these somewhere that you do not want to lose. The other one is kind of hidden under this display cable, which I don't like the design of. The way they designed it, you could basically damage the cable, but I don't think it's that easy to damage that cable. It's, it's pretty... Uh, tough looking kind of thing so the third one is this right here that which holds this holds the shield to the uh cooling fan itself it's a very thinny tiny right there screw don't forget to lose this or assemble this you need to assemble it back otherwise it would be kind of flimsy so just to take it out you gotta take this shield out be gentle put this thing under and then try to hold on to this at the same time and then this thing should be out already okay here we go this thing is out so you can just clean this thing or clean this area and all that in order to disconnect the fan you can use this pin right there you have to eject it in order to disconnect it let me just bring something to clean the fan You could use a toothbrush or compressed air it's up to you but I prefer to use a toothbrush because I don't have compressed air not a lot of us have that kind of thing right so what I'm gonna be doing is just brush all over it like that very gently I've cleaned this already so there's not much of nasty stuff in there you can just brush all over it or in case your fan's not working at all, you can just replace the entire thing with which about which will cost you about five dollars or less just to buy a new one. And then you can go or use a hair dryer or whatever just to clean that thing. You're basically good to go now, and you can put this whole thing back, which is the other way around. And don't forget the small screw thing I told you about. It's very teeny tiny. You might lose it any time. Goes right in there. It's very small. It's very hard. I feel like I'm doing an operation on a human being when I'm putting this thing back. Gosh, it's very hard to put this thing back in there. It's very small. That's what he said. She said basically, but he said now. Shit, this thing is really hard to put back in there. Okay, you know what? You better put this thing together first. So it actually connects the fan, attaches it to the main board, and the other one is hidden under that cable, which I don't like the design as I've said before and put that thing back and assemble the whole thing. But don't forget this teeny tiny uh, screwdriver. I mean screw, not screwdriver. 
Am I, can I get some focus, please? No, I can't. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if it was helpful, give me a thumbs up. If not, you know what to do.